first part of this, and you guys can start cheering right now. <laughs> There's Ron DeSantis doing his best Jeb Bush impersonation. You guys can start clapping right now because this is a photo op. So he does this. He's signing this uh, bill into law. A six-week abortion ban in Florida. Six weeks. Yeah. Uh, but as you can see, it looks like a, a, a room that had someone just taken the video on a cell phone camera because this was not... Uh, received to big fanfare the way Ron DeSantis likes to do, and there's reasons behind that. But first, let's go to the NBC was talking about with what he is doing here. Overnight, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signing a bill that would ban most abortions after six weeks. DeSantis quietly signing the law just after 11 p.m., posting only this photo on Twitter. A stark contrast to how he publicly celebrated a 15-week ban last spring. We are here today to defend those who can't defend themselves. Unless blocked in the court, the move will shut off access in a state that saw a 60% increase in women seeking abortion since Roe was overturned. Six, Known eight, as the Heartbeat eight, Protection eight, Act, Please it does make yay. an exception for abortions up to 15 all weeks in cases of rape, incest, or human trafficking. Have all members voted. Anger erupting in the Florida House during debate over the bill. I want to point out a real quick line that DeSantis said in there. He goes, uh, I'm doing this to defend those who can't defend themselves. And I wanted you to go ahead and uh, take in the irony of what's happened with, again, the number one killer of uh, children in the United States of America is gun violence. So I guess, oddly, defending themselves would have to be handing them a bunch of guns because that's the thought process of many of these Republicans. But he's looking to defend the unborn because they can't defend themselves. Once they're born, shoot them in the face. That is the policy of the Republican Party. But still, the reasons why this wasn't such huge fanfare is because he knows what most people in the country feel about anti-choice legislation like this. Uh, but this is what he's trying to do in doing so. Let's go to this graphic here. Ron DeSantis has tried to create this image of never backing down. This is what he's trying to go for. That's what a former Trump advisor said. Well, he's definitely pregnant with this bill, he says, and it's well past six weeks. So maybe ironically, he's also going to live by the consequences of his actions. What he's saying is sex in a way. You know, he's trying to do this double meaning thing in case you guys didn't pick up on it. Oh, and he's pregnant since because those irresponsible actions. Again, it's one of those stories where the Trump people say stuff that's annoying and also so do the DeSantis people. But in this case, Ron DeSantis is, try is now passing legislation that's going to limit uh, more, more folks to uh, this six-week ban. And if he knows anything about pregnancies, that's damn near a total ban on any kind of access to uh, women's rights and their re reproductive rights. So uh, one more part here, though, because Fox News continues to carry the water for a Ron DeSantis. Every time he does anything, they come with this big celebratory approach to it. This is their headline in talking about this. Ron DeSantis signs this six-week abortion law delighting pro-lifers and devastating abortion supporters. So there's abortion supporters versus pro-lifers. Um, I, I, you know, I call it anti-choice people versus pro-choice people. Just because, you know, you choose or you don't, or it's people who don't want you to be able to choose what to do with your own life. But whatever. Just That's just me, though, Jeff. Well, and we can also throw pro-birth in there, because clearly, once the baby's born, it's a rat. <laughs> it is over with. And not, and not specifically, not just for the child, the baby, but for the mother as well. So, yeah, the headline. Look, we know what headlines are. Mm -hmm. We know what they're about. But, yeah, that was completely misleading on purpose. The intention was to sway the opinions of people who would read that and think something that it's not. Um, supporters are people who want health care needs for women and people who can have children, babies. So, Miss us with all of that. But yeah, this idea that DeSantis is trying to like fight for something is, come on, man, that's not, you're, you're not. This is another culture war wedge issue that he's trying to tag on for because he can't do anything actually for Americans. It seems like it's the theme, again, it's the second time you've had to say it, right? I'm talking about mm -hmm. these Republican policies and things that they're doing. It has nothing to do with actually helping anyone. It has to do with looking a certain way and acting like you believe in something when all it is, is a political gambit to go ahead and push yourself further. And it's just an idea of how much you can get folks to believe that you care about them. 
has nothing to do with what they're actually going to do to help folks because these folks that are in these positions are they doing things to prevent maybe some of these unwanted pregnancies, maybe teenage pregnancies and things like that. No, they've taken away all those guardrails as well. So we have more of that. They don't care. And then once your kid is five, hand them a rifle. It's the American way. Listen to their shot, then pick it up and hand it to their brother. 